Good afternoon, friends. Uh, they might have said that I've got so much of years of experience. Yes, I have overall 36 years of experience. My age is 25. <laughs> because I stopped counting after that. My son today is 23, but that's his choice, not mine. My wife is still 18 years old. I'm really happy to be here to talk about entrepreneurship. And uh, while I was thinking, I thought, why can't we look at the profession where we always say, I die to do it, I would do anything to do it. And since majority of you raised your hands to be an entrepreneur, I thought, let me create a title which actually talks about die to do. And die to do means a dozen ideas for an entrepreneur which I'm going to share through my experience. I became an entrepreneur at the age of 24 and a half years. I had five years of industry experience and I realized that I was not a good manager so I became a consultant. And for the last almost 31 years, I'm in consulting and not ever thought about looking back. I'm going to share some of my experiences, ideas, thinking on entrepreneurship and share it with you. There's an old saying, very few people learn from other people's mistakes. Most of the people are other people. So maybe when we, you listen to youngsters like me, why do you laugh here? <laughs> It will actually help you look at your own perspective, your own careers and look at entrepreneurship as a domain. Actually, the story is very, very simple. It's a story of three apples only. The first apple was what Adam and Eve had. I think that was the first startup of the world. Imagine if they had not started, how things would have shaped up. And from that stage of Apple to iPads and iPhones, we have actually crossed a lot of range, moving from industry 1.0 to industry 4.0. But the question would be, where was the third Apple? Well, that was an Apple which fell on Newton's head. Earlier also Apple used to fall. But when it fell on his head, Suddenly it triggered something, he thought of gravity. Was there a course inside that apple? No. Was he waiting for the apple to fall? No. But that apple ignited his curiosity. And entrepreneurs have to be perpetually suffering from this word called curiosity. And if you do not have that, we cannot, in true sense, become entrepreneur. So I'm going to be sharing with you a dozen ideas on entrepreneurship. And since I'm very fond of writing acronyms, I'll take one alphabet at a time and share my thoughts with you. And since the time is limited to 15 minutes, I'll stick to those time limits and therefore move a little faster. Although the same topic I can cover in five hours also. The first alphabet being E. Let's be very clear. Entrepreneurship is a journey. You've got to love it, you've got to live it. Your ideas may come, your ideas may go, your ideas may fail. But an entrepreneur need not fail. Because it is not a course. Although, in some of the states in India, they do have courses like run by entrepreneurial development cells. Where people undergo a 40 days program on entrepreneurship, get subsidy from the government of India or the government of the state. And after that, they write in their resume and look for a job. We are not talking about that kind of entrepreneurship place. And when we are thinking in terms of starting up, let us not look at creating something perfect. We need to get started. 
Because what is important is your initiative must lead to a finishator. It need not be perfect. Because when we set up goals, people set goals in four different ways. Look at me, please. <coughs> the first one will pick up his gun, aim and shoot. The other guy will also pick up his gun, will shoot. And wherever it is shot, he'll put a circle around it and say, the third one would somehow get some battle resources and buy an AK-47. And he will say, shoot, 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 shoot. Somewhere something will get shot. And the fourth one will pick up his gun and will say, A, 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 A. All shame because he doesn't shoot. So if you are looking in terms of something perfect to happen, nothing is going to happen. What's more important is start with something meaningful and shoot. And in the course of the progression, keep improving. And therefore, it's very vital to think beyond back of the envelope calculations also. Because a lot of the time when you are sitting in cafe coffee days and thinking on entrepreneurship or ideas, all the calculations are done on a paper napkin or on the back of the envelope and you say, wow, business plan is ready. That is stupid. You may not have a comprehensive business plan, but you do need a complete business plan because that <coughs> lies in detail. But the trouble is, when we meet people like these, we don't share our ideas. We don't share our ideas completely because I am scared my idea will get stolen. Nothing will get stolen because it gets courage to actually implement the idea. Anyone may have an idea, but more powerful than the powerful idea is the powerful implementation. And everyone's power is different. Therefore, it's very vital we must share, get into some kind of nitty gritty, find out the negative aspects and then proceed further. The next dimension is we need to ride on the passion car. I was today very amazed and very very happy to see the interview of this guy in Times of India, Raman Saini, who being a doctor became a civil servant and left that to start unacademy.in. I mean these are the examples of entrepreneurship we must aspire for. Because that guy definitely will do something great one day because at 24, he left the cushy job of a civil servant and started his entrepreneurship. E. We need to think in terms of extra efforts for customers. In many conferences, I always say, in India, we suffer from two lies. You know the lie number one? Customer is the king. How many of you sitting here have ever been treated like a king by the service provider? <laughs> and we say customer is the king. Well, treat him like a king, he will definitely do well for you because customer only needs three things. Faster, better, my way. Faster, better, my way. If you can consistently, lifelong, as an entrepreneur, answer <coughs> that, you would be a great businessman. Otherwise, you would also fall into a me too category very soon. And you know the second lie which corporate India speaks every now and then in every AGM, in every HR meet is people are our most important assets. Rubbish. The moment the business has a little cold, they chuck the people out. And then they say people are our most important assets. And let me tell you my dear friends, they are, but we don't believe. So as an entrepreneur, if we can invest in trust, if we can invest in time with them, if we can invest resources in them, if we can share learning with them and also give them some meaningful challenges, they would remain important assets. Otherwise, majority of the organizations fail, not because of an idea, but because of its people. The next pointer is R. Relationships and network with people smarter than you. And answer what is there for me in it. 
we need to find mentors we need to find advisors we need to find guides co-founders <coughs> investors experts but then why should you only find what is that which you are giving to them <coughs> people come in dozens to me rajiv be our mentor i said fine what is there for me in it and if you do not have that kind of an answer i'm sorry nobody is having a charity of time available to spread that time to you you need to really look at that and this is something which i'm talking very straight to you the next pointer is e express and impress with conviction practice hard to present well many times we have a brilliant idea but we do not know how to package it we do not know how to put it across well kawasaki guy kawasaki said once if you want my money you need to follow a 10 20 30 principle and what is that just a refresher don't show me more than 10 slides don't take more than 20 minutes of my time and don't use font size of less than 30 so if you can actually pinpoint that no exam any television commercial sells a product in 30 seconds can you package your idea in 30 seconds and sell it across so that the investor can give you money or have you mastered the concept of presentation called pecha pucha where 20 seconds 20 slides 6 minute 40 seconds your concepts are true and if you have that kind of practice to put across your ideas my friends first of all you yourself are convinced about your idea before you go and convince somebody else before you buy somebody's money be convinced <coughs> would you like to put your money the way you are presenting your thoughts the next is n newness in what you do apply moore's law and what's moore's law every eight months the price of the computer comes down by half and the capability doubles so what is that which we are investing in ourselves in terms of our own capabilities and if you are not actually wearing the mantle of creativity curiosity and reinvesting in ourselves regularly rejuvenating our own capabilities i'm sorry we are turning out to be outdated products straight away nobody is going to buy so once you are an entrepreneur the entrepreneurs don't retire at the age of 60 they work up to 80 85 easily so you have roughly around 60 more years of working which would mean 60 more years divided by 80 you have the mandate ready for you in terms of what kind of rejuvenation is necessary the next pointer is e ethics and integrity no questions asked in business people will do lot many things but never create a multi story organization on the foundation of bamboos make your ethics stronger so that people can say this is the guy because that's where ethics can create your goodwill the next alphabet is u understand the articulated needs and unarticulated needs consistently and what are these articulated and unarticulated needs articulated when the customer says this is what he wants but unarticulated is when the customer thinks that he may need it but he is not able to spell it out but you spell it out for him and that is what is happening at the startup stages because we are working more on the unarticulated needs some of them will succeed some of them will fail but consistently keep working on the unarticulated needs and finally my dear friends r raise and strengthen your personal brand you need to take a call are you in this for a 100 meters race or are you in this for a marathon if you want to be a marathon winner you want to be a greatest winner then the strategy has to be much more long term because in 100 meters you will tire yourself fast and after that you will be exhausted that's not the meaning of becoming an entrepreneur and in india the opportunity lies before you in the form of missy tc Now, this could be a term which prime minister modi is talking about these days and missy tc means make in india skill india startup india stand up india digital india and clean india anything to do with all these is a big opportunity for all of you in front of you thank you very much my dear friends we have 15 seconds left and my presentation can be downloaded from my website it's already there you can download that thank you so much please thank you good afternoon friends 
Uh, they might have said that I've got so much of years of experience. Yes, I have overall 36 years of experience. My age is 25. <laughs> because I stopped counting after that. My son today is 23, but that's his choice, not mine. My wife is still 18 years old. I'm really happy to be here to talk about entrepreneurship. And uh, while I was thinking, I thought, why can't we look at the profession where we always say, I die to do it, I would do anything to do it. And since majority of you raised your hands to be an entrepreneur, I thought let me create a title.